So y'all want to see how to get killed. You just take your back hoe on a tree that's already in a bind like that and hold down on it. And then stick your man down there cutting with a chainsaw on it. And that's how you get killed. This is the county road this morning too, by the way. First thing on a Monday morning. Here, popping. See, I don't know why he's pushing on the tree far like that. Now the saw's hung. I've got my saws coming. Dad's bringing them, but see, he's he's got her hung now. I've also got a skitter coming too. I'm actually on the inside of the tree right now. All of our tr our trucks can't even get in here this morning. Guns chair. down on the tree while he's cutting at the same time. that tree it'll take him 30 minutes trying to move that back out. y'all watch Chad get this thing right quick son was soft right there
fixing to break some of them lens out of that dude. Seen tear that limb out. Getting that other limb now. Take and grab it and shove it on up in there. That big limb got him going in the ground. Just leave it right there and they can cut the rest of it off and get it out of the way right there with that back there. I'm actually surprised the storm hit Thursday night. That tree has been across this road since Thursday night right there and the day is Monday morning. Sure, they had a lot of other damage up here though too and this area had a lot to tend to now he's gonna get that butt part over there and move it out of the way for him that on out too what I'm talking about get it boy we got Chad there's a bad wash on the hill right there Chad's working on fixing it now Seven forty-six. And ain't got a truck in here yet. Of course, we didn't know there was a tree across the road this morning either. <laughs> I knew you weren't uh, leaving, and I was like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> Am I gonna star in today's video too? There's no doubt. Okay. You're gonna be in today's video. I don't know about starring in today's video. <laughs> I'd have forgot to put my lipstick on first. <laughs> I'm kidding. So <laughs> where at the where the tractor store? Jill ain't gonna come in with me. Okay. I'll I will if you want me to. You don't have to. You can just sit your happy butt right out here in the truck. I'm checking all these gazillion <laughs> okay. applications on my phone. Alright, that'll work. So this is where uh, where my mini came from. They're having a kind of an open house field day thing here today. So they sell lots of stuff. 
this is their what they call their field day event today and so it's kind of like an open house so hey man hey. this is a uh, good sized dealer man they have case new holland Kubota, and uh, me and jill are fixing to hit the road here right quick ain't that right jill yes sir <laughs> you don't even know what you're agreeing to i heard you from outside did the you okay. about to hit the road okay all right boy so for the next bunch of weeks here y'all are probably going to be seeing videos that are kind of out of order and timeline as far as like when they were filmed and stuff like that uh just because um me being off right now with this stuff on my nose and i'm gonna turn the camera around here i don't have anything on my nose where you can see how they cut me and everything and uh so i'll let you know for you do so if somebody's kind of grossed out by that or whatever uh you can stop the old video before i do that but we're getting rain we had storms come through this morning and uh wet things up we're, we got more we just got one band after another coming through i'm not sure if this oak right here is going to make it or not uh it's brown several limbs are brown it's still got green in it and i don't know it may may not we'll see if it don't no big deal i just go down there and get me another one i got tons of them down there uh growing but this i'm gonna do a little bit different this next year though i will do it during the winter time i will go ahead and mark the trees flag them the oaks so that i'll be able to know what's what because i got a bunch of trash trees down there too that kind of resemble oaks without leaves on them and and um uh, so i know what's an oak and i'll get some transplanted but look at the look at the pines look at the growth you see all the lighter colored stuff that's the growth in those pines the springtime growth right now so love springtime in the south man honeysuckles oh my gosh they smell so good if you if you don't wherever you live if you don't have honeysuckles and you've never smelled them you just they're they smell so good and and so that's what we're smelling right now but <clears throat> the start of this video uh was filmed i think it was back in april can't remember exactly when but it was one of the 500 storms we've had come through uh what we we're dealing with there and uh those we come in that morning i don't i don't normally carry my saws with me everywhere i go or anything and, and of course i didn't that morning come in and that tree you could just barely drive a pickup truck up under that tree right there and uh had to deal with that and the bad thing about it is the, those the, the boys that work for the county up there they do a fantastic job but of course they're not that's not their forte is you know tree removal you know and stuff like that and uh and they kind of got to work with what they got you know too so they're not outfitted you know as well and uh so anyhow we got the tree got the tree up and moved and all that good stuff and then uh, and then the saturday stuff with jill that was uh that was pretty funny we had a jill and i had a uh we had a good day that was last weekend is when that was we uh i had a whole bunch of old paint and stuff and things like that and they had a, a free day at our landfill to collect all that stuff so we hauled all that out there ended up sitting in line out there about two hours uh to get unloaded with that kind of needed this rain here because i had done i've done the driveway y'all are going to get to see videos of the driveway work being done uh, the uh land plane all that stuff in action i just came to right here with the rock that i got from brian i didn't go past my driveway going down and the reason why is is because of stuff like that that's metal man <clears throat> there was some stuff in this rock right here i'm telling you buddy uh well you can see what I did with this down through here with the lamp. Like some of y'all have seen it on uh, 
on Instagram. Let's walk down here and I'll show you some of the stuff that came out of that, out of the rock. What I did was, it was so bad, I, I had a heck of a time trying to dump that, trying to spread it from the dump truck because it had so much stuff in it, like big rocks and stuff like that. Like these came through, those are okay right there. But rebar, oh my gosh, see here's a piece of metal right here. I've done walked this thing, I've had Jill and Anna Kate and Emma, that's a piece of threaded rock, walk this thing, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> there's no way, look at that nail. I'm not putting this <laughs> down toward the road. If I need rock down there, I will buy good rock because, man, uh, Jill and, and them, see there's a piece of wire. I'm just not putting that down, <laughs> down uh, cause I, I'll probably be picking this stuff up like this right here for, ain't no telling how much longer. But anyhow, there's just some of the collection of stuff that, uh, that I got out, which is gonna work because I'm gonna put uh, this stuff around the culvert here. We've had so much rain. You see we're starting to kind of erase, so I'm gonna fix that, I'm gonna use that. I got plenty of uh, matting to it that, that's in that rock that I can pull up and uh, put down there. I'll pick that up later, but I needed this rain to kind of where I could walk it again and I'll, I'll take the grater because it was uh it was like powder and so i mean i, I could grate it and grate it, grate it now it's got a little bit of uh moisture in it i run the grater on it now and sure enough slick this part up like the rest of it down there but you can see this is where i made the center line connection and then that's where i busted the water line right there and fixed that so you can see where the subsoiler went up through there, that line where it went by probably this time next week. You won't even be able to see that line down through there no more. So anyhow, what I was saying earlier too, there's another piece of wire. <clears throat> uh, this month, month of May, is uh, going to be very crazy for me. Um... Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on this month that y'all are going to be a part of and, gonna, and are going to uh, see. And so I'm going to have to kind of, so there's going to be some times where I'm going to have to kind of dig back in some of my old videos and stuff and things like that. And uh, pull out some old footage that y'all hadn't seen yet and uh, post it. And and it's just because I'm well, where I'm going to be gone and all of that and of course like i said i'm gonna be off this whole next week because i don't get these uh, stitches out till uh, the 14th and then all my stuff with rotabec starts on the 15th and uh which is going to be pretty cool and that's when the logging show in bangor maine is is coming up at the end of that at the end of that week uh the link will be right down below for it so if you're in the northeast and and uh you follow me and there's an opportunity to uh meet me i'll be in your neck of the woods and and uh be a pretty cool i'll be at that logging show two days up there at it and uh and then i'm gonna be i'll be doing some more traveling in june and july i'll let y'all know the june thing is gonna be kind of a closed deal uh, with uh, Milwaukee tools but um, so that's that is that so uh, a lot of a lot of different things there but uh, I'll flip the screen up where I can kind of see it here too okay so you see right there now that's a pretty good size cut right there man and uh, I'm trying to find a rock here to kind of show y'all or something. I mean, the spot, the spot wasn't even a dang size of like a pencil eraser, like a number two pencil eraser. And so they had to cut that. Sorry about that. I meant to tell y'all before I flipped that thing around where you can see it. But 
they with me doing what I do logging you know climbing up and down out of the machine I can't uh, you know pulling and straining and stuff like that don't want to pop those uh, stitches out and everything it's just not it's not uh not worth it I need to pick that one up and get that one that's a big one right there get it in that pile down there so that's what's going on in my world right now so I hope y'all have a a good good Saturday good weekend this weekend and uh be stay tuned for some uh for some giveaways I got uh man Huss Vaughner sent me something the other day that uh y'all probably see it. those y'all who follow me on Instagram cotton top three on Instagram probably gonna see it here in a little bit uh surprise the heck out of me I wasn't expecting to get this didn't even know it was coming and uh got it very very cool uh and it's not a chainsaw either and uh but it is another uh tool and stuff like that big tool there's another piece of wire right there so i done rambled on along enough there hope y'all enjoyed that that video right there and uh we shall catch y'all later later taters